I want to f I want to be able to represent Ireland because I've been living in Ireland for the last five years um, and I can easily imagine myself to stay in Ireland for the next 20 years so it's, it's became my home that's why I, I want to represent Ireland well, it's getting popular and in our club, Pembroke Fencing Club, be trying to make fencing accessible for for everyone who wants to try. And exactly, if people will like it and decide to carry on. Um, be welcome to join us for all ages, for all backgrounds. They can come in and start if they like it. They can carry on. One of my friends does it with me. He does the lessons with his gamies. Uh, actually, two of them do. And then when there's team events and things, we all go together as one team. They're not sharp at the edge. I think very important. So there aren't any points. It isn't as sharp as it looks. Um, and uh, they're well cushioned with their tops. And um, so I haven't ever heard of the accents. It does sound like it's dangerous, but in fact it's not. Uh, first of all, you have to love it. And then it depends on how hard you prepare to work. If you're not ready to hard work, you won't succeed. Well, he's always had a keen interest in being a pirate. Um, haven't you, Isaac? Yeah. yeah. So he always goes around in the, where we live. He always has swords and he's always fighting with his friends. And he just seems to have an interest in it. So when we heard about the fencing uh, club, we said it to him and he said he want to go along. Okay. But just get to it. Yeah. Fencing is very difficult to compare with other sports. It's, it's the sport not only for body, it's sport for mind. In fencing, what you do is you start off with your legs bent. So it's tough work, tough work on your legs, you start off like that. The very first rule that any child learns when they go to fence is that they never pick up a sword with somebody else unless they're both wearing a mask. Up to the first rule. So once they have the mask, they're very safe. For all ages, for all backgrounds, you can come in and start and to get just an introduction course. It's quite, it's not easy. I think the first one is discipline and independence. They have to look after themselves, but they have to think. It's, it's a real sport for thinking. You've got to work out uh, what your opponent wants to do and lead him into a trap. So it's very good for your um, very good mental discipline, physical discipline, and to be strategic and tactical about the way you uh, behave or uh, play your sport. We decided that with Evgeny, who's a superb teacher, we could actually expand the club to bring in new people. And with Evgeny, the club has changed, really, from being a club for those who already know how to fence to being a club to bring, that'll bring in beginners and teach them. Because fencing, unlike other sports, it can't progress unless you get a very good teacher. And Evgeny loves the sport and is great with kids and is a very good teacher, so that allowed us to expand the club to include beginners of all ages. We do have a few very good fencers in Ireland and um, I hope you will get uh, more people who will be very good at fencing, more juniors who will be able to represent Ireland in international competition, who will be able to fence in Grand Prix and to represent Ireland. We've only got, I've only got one very good teacher again, there are others around as well, but if we had more uh, superb teachers we could have other clubs as well, because the demand is certainly out there, the parents are keen for the kids to do it, and it's a very exciting school, it really is very exciting.